Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this uh, uh, lesson is on on area models and partial products. Okay, this one's kind of a fun lesson. I liked uh, this lesson. So here, our common core strand is to uh, use place value understanding and properties of operation to perform multi-digit arithmetic. It seems like I should memorize that because I've been saying that. And then our essential question is, how can we use area models uh, and partial products to multiply two-digit numbers? So again, this is pretty slick. I might want to show this to one of my uh, uh, math classes in high school. So uh, you remember uh, when we did uh, distributive property with 4 times 12 and, and so we, we represented the 12 as 10 plus 2 because 10 is easy to multiply. It's just the number times uh, itself or 1 times the number and then you just add a 0 on there. Okay. So here I'm going to do um, uh, 4 times 10 and then do 4 times 2 right there. That's going to be the same as 4 times 12. Okay, and then 4 times 10 is 40, and then 4 times 2 is 8, so we get 48 on that. Okay, we're going to be using this kind of principle right here, except with uh, big rectangles. Okay, so uh, here, outline a rectangle on the grid that models 13 by 18. So I counted those up, and there's 13 squares by 18 squares right there. Okay, and then I just moved it over a little bit so I can have some room right there. So break apart this model into smaller rectangles to show factors broken into tens and ones. I'm at home today, and well, I'm not. It's after school for me. Uh, my air conditioner is kicking on. It's about 90 degrees outside, so I noticed it changes a little bit in the video. So, anyway, um, so we're going to break this up into uh, 10. So I'm going to go down here by 10, and then draw a line over, and then over here by 10, and draw a line over right there. Okay, so I'll be left with. Um, Remember, it was 18 right there, so this little piece is 8, and this side was 13 here, so this little piece is 3. There's 1, 2, 3 right there, and then this is a 10 by 10 right there. Okay, and then what we're going to do now is um, uh, shade the smaller rectangles using the colors below. So I shaded the 10 by 10 blue, the 10 by 8 green, and then the 3 by 10. Here's my 3 by 10 right here. Uh, I guess it's orange right here, and then the 3 by 8 is kind of a purpley sort of color right there. Okay, uh, and if you're colorblind, like my son is, uh, those colors would be kind of hard to see. Okay, so there they are right there. And then what we're going to do with those rectangles is we're going to find the product of each smaller rectangle. Okay, so here 10 times 10, times 10 is going to be 100 right here. Here this green guy is going to be, this is 10, 10 by 8, 10 times 8 is 80. Here this is going to be 3 by 10, 3 times 10 is 30, and then finally this is 3 by 8, uh, 3 times 8 is 24, so we're going to lift, put, put all those in there, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and find the sum of these, we're going to go ahead and add those up, so I did that over here, um, uh, I added these numbers up right here, and I got 234, okay, pretty slick, huh? Let's try that uh, that same, uh, so 13 times 18 is 234, okay? And we just broke up the 13 and the 18 into, um, um, we broke this up into 10 plus 3, and this was 10 plus 8, okay? And then we made some rectangles and multiplied all those, all right? Let's try that with the uh, same rectangle, 13 by 18, but let's, let's break it up into different smaller rectangles. So I think I'm going to, uh, uh, since it's 18 right there, I'm going to cut this guy right in half at the 9 right here, okay? And then, so since I'm doing it by 9, I think I'll go down by 9 on this one right here. So what happens is, when we do that, this is 9 right here, and so each side is 9 right there. And remember, this side was 13, so this is 9 plus 4 is 13. Here's 9 plus 9 is 18 right there. And we're going to do it again. Let's color code them right there. Okay, so shade the s'more faults, s'more... <laughs> the four smaller rectangles, okay, and then we're going to find the areas of all of those guys. So there's 81 right there, and then there's another 81, and then um, this one here is going to be 4 by 9, 4 times 9 is 36, and then this one over here is another 4 by 9, so another 36. So we're going to go ahead and add those together right there, and those guys add up to 234. It's the same. So 13 times 18, no matter how you break it up, is still going to be 234. You can break it up into any size rectangles that you want. Let's try one more, you guys. Let's try 15 times 24, okay? So I'm going to do a big rectangle, 15 by 24. All right, now, I can do, you know, several rectangles. I think I'm going to just break it up. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go across here 20, because uh, it's a 20 is a is a, a power of 10 or it's a it's a it's it's two tens right here so I'm going to go uh, 20 over and then I'll go 10 down so here's 15 10 plus 5 and then here's 24 up here 20 plus 4 right there okay and then 
I don't know if I color coded this or not. Oh, I did. Okay, I color coded that. Okay, so um, this this guy right here is going to be uh, 10 times 20. Okay, well, 10 times 2 is 20 with another zero. Okay, so that's 200. You can see I'm going to start adding them up over here. All right, and then over here, this is going to be 10 by 4. See, 10 is nice to multiply with, so 10 by 4 is 40. Over here, this is going to be 5 times 20. Well, 5 times 2 is 10. So it's going to be 10 with a 0, so that's going to be 100 right there. And then finally, this little dude right here, 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is 20, so we're going to go ahead and add those up, and we get 360 right there. Okay, so 15 times 24 is 360. Now, well, just to save time, I did not do this, but I could have broken up 15 by 24 into different rectangles, and we still would have gotten 360, okay? That's a fun lesson. I told you that would be fun. Take care, everybody.